Um, my name is Jay Kendam Fully, Editor General of Service Management. Uh, my name is Elina Jaakkola and I work as a postdoctoral researcher at the um, Department of Marketing and International Business in the uh, Turku School of Economics in University of Turku in Finland. Uh, no, thank you so much for, for being uh, an excellent reviewer and uh, uh, congratulations for that award. Well, thank you. I was very honored okay. for the award. And um, uh, tell me when you uh, reviewed articles at, in, in the JOSM, what are the kinds of things that authors uh, should look for in creating good articles? And uh, what, what are the kinds of things that you feel that should be there in an article, in a good article? Okay, well, um, to put in a in a very, very simple terms, I think that um, three sort of key issues are, first of all, what is it that the authors are trying to do and how they are doing it and how they are communicating it. And in, in my view, obviously, the most important part is what they are doing. What is the relevance of the, the question that they are trying to answer? And I think that uh, it would be a good idea for authors to think about the the introduction of the paper as a kind of a sales speech in a way. Right. They should be able to, uh, in a very short way, sort of crystallize it to the reader, what it is that they have to offer and why it is important that they are offering this and to whom. So That's that good. they are saying to, to what sort of audience their question might be important right. and interesting and what it would be the value of, of that, that yes. issue that they're trying to discuss. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a great idea. Um, what do you personally think that when you review the paper, uh, after reviewing a paper uh, or a few papers, uh, what personally as a reviewer benefits from the process? What I benefit from yes. the process? Um, well, I learn a lot. Okay. When doing every new paper that I read really teaches me a lot about the, the actual sort of substance of, of what they are talking about. But most of all, I learn myself because I'm also a, a researcher who's trying to submit papers to journals and I always learn um, the kind of mistakes that other people do because when you are an external uh, reader that you have no clue of the topic or the, or the paper itself, then you need to, to quickly grasp what it is about. Then you realize um, what issues make it difficult and what issues make it easy. Yeah. And, and that teaches m m me a lot too. Okay, okay. So y you, would, you would recommend or suggest to people that reviewing articles is a good way of learning how to write as well. Well, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's like uh, learning from an example. Right. Because you also get to see a lot of excellent papers. And then I always think like, wow, this is a brilliant way of putting this. And, and that was a good thing. And then you immediately sort of get this idea of, of how it is, what should be done to convince the reader. When I'm not convinced, I, I look for reasons. I, I need to, as a reviewer, write down those reasons right. why the paper wasn't convincing. Yeah. So all the time I'll take that with me when I do my own writing. Well, that, that's a very important question because, uh, well, it relates to how well the authors are able to formulate the, their ideas for future research or research yeah. implications right. or material implications of the paper. And I noticed that they are, um, I think that many times done in a rather quick way so that the authors might just say that because we obviously always have some limitations, those limitations can be corrected in future research and right. that's their research implication. I don't think that's the way how to do it. It's, right. not, it's not an interesting research implication to just say that other authors could use different methods or something. Right. <laughs> I think that they should be able to crystallize how the new knowledge that they have hopefully created, how that can be used in future research right. as, as a basis for future studies and what does it teach to the field, right. not just say that that uh, to sort of derive it from the limitations. That's correct, yes. Uh, very, good, very good point. That, that means, you know, uh, what I'm hoping, you uh, know, uh, what I got from you is that 
So your limitation should not be the future direction. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Very good point. No, uh, excellent point. Thank you so much for, for your time and uh, for you. this advice. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.